Good afternoon and welcome from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. I'm Pete and I'm here to present to you today Grand Designs Momentum. This is a 2023 Momentum, uh, model number 349M. And this presentation again presented to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, we've got a lot to cover, so I'm going to go through it as quickly as I reasonably can. Here we've got our front aerodynamic swept one-piece fiberglass cap with the embedded LED accent lights that look really cool by night. We've got docking lights down underneath here. Here's our Rhino Box pin box, and as you can guess, probably from here on the fourth door, you've got your gen prep area there for the easy addition of an optional gen set, an option you may wish to consider as we go along we do have hydraulic leveling those are the hydraulics for it over to the left of the uh, prep area there we'll step back here and take a look at it from this angle this is a triple slide out floor plan momentum as we're going to discover as we go along now here we go with our auto leveling system there's where the rubber meets the road or more precisely where all the leveling jacks meet the road or your leveling pads there we go, and it's the level up system. There's our central levelers right there, forward of the tandems. All right, 50 amp twist lock cord goes right on there. That's where you add your shore power connection. Here's the unified docking center, making it very easy and simple to pass through your utilities through the slug right through there. Whole coach water filtration system on there, auxiliary fresh tank water fill, all of your valves are enclosed in a heated area. So it's gonna assure you of extended season peace of mind from freeze up problems as you go down the road. GFCI protected electrical outlets there. Plenty of coax connections to add all sorts of options on there, whether it be park cable or an exterior satellite system, what have you. Here we've got our black tank flush on the right. And on the left then is the city water connection and the valve configurations go right here where it's very conveniently labeled so that you can get it set up to do just what you want it to do. Low point drains are towards the bottom. Okay, this is pass through storage action. Here we go. Right through there, there's your 50 amp cord as we spoke of earlier, as well as your vacuum attachments are on there. And in the distance, you have your battery cutoff switch. We're gonna talk about that a little bit as we go along. This unit does have the uh, uh, upgraded Cooper H-rated tires. These are with 17 and a half inch deluxe aluminum rims. Those are radials mounted on the aluminum rims. They're nitrogen filled radials, I should add for you. And here is your rear leveler right through here. So you've got six point leveling on the unit. Over to here, the fuel station. This is the fueler. Now you've got twin 30 pound, or 30 gallon, I should say, twin 30 gallon gas fillers right through there. One for each of the tanks, one of which will feed the gen set, both of which can be used to select uh, how you want to fuel up from the fuel station. Great uh, flexibility offered you by way of two tanks on there. Way cool. How awesome is that? This unit features a 13 foot garage. There is the option of a, a similar model which has a little bit of a longer garage on it. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. Hey, it's party central time. Here is where the rubber meets the road for the party time. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And with party chairs on your party deck, the full surround, it is so easy to set that up too. Way easier than the old fashioned kind with the snap pins and all that monkeying around. None of that fall to all. This is way easier. This slides right out by Mole Ride. There's the three piece Mole Ride staircase that attaches on the back side of your party deck. Now this is a very easy to deploy party deck. It is counterbalanced by spring loaded, uh, spring loaded mechanism. There's the mechanism right there, by the way. Let's look up and over here past the cool momentum chairs. We'll take a quick peek into your garage. Right from here, I have the three seasons porch doors swung wide open. You're prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera right up there on the top. Now, uh, underneath here, we would have the under unit LED light kit. It's not on right now because it's, well, it's daytime. You know the drill though, you can figure that out. Okay, four steps, easy entry into the garage, right through where you see it right there. I uh, don't have the awnings deployed, but you do have, oh, speaking of awnings, this is way cool. And we got the rear awning 
right where you're looking and awning number two and awning number one way up towards the front there. So, okay, three awnings, all kinds of flexibility for that as well too. Now, the unloaded vehicle weight on this unit, I bet you're gonna ask that, 13,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating of 17,000 pounds. Now that can be increased to 18,000 if you were to order one in with the optional 8K axles and uh, that would include by way of uh, the 8K axles, the um, ABS brake system. Okay, exterior entertainment options. Here we go with our upgraded Rockford Fosgate sound system by way of the speakers, flat screen TV on here with the remote. That's a 30 inch flat screen TV. And it all tucks right there into a neat little slam latch door. All right, here's the one piece staircase here. Very, very easy to deploy the more ride one piece staircase, four steps up and in you go. The fifth step being, of course, you're in the unit itself. Okay, spray down port easy to add a wash down hose there gfci protected exterior electrical outlet all right hey here's the other side of the pass through there's your battery cutoff we spoke of earlier you're prepped for the uh, easy addition of tire link so that you can monitor your tire pressure from remote that's going to be a motion activated light out here so that is way cool the motion activated lights are super duper helpful and convenient twin 30 pound LP tanks are going to be one to each side. They're behind that doorway. You know how that works. Swing out D assist handle. And we're going to step on inside here and take a look at some of our inside features. As we work our way up there, you've got the porch light right up on over there. Again, this is a 2023 model, 349M. All right, let me get the door shut. Inside here is the Pebble interior decor. Pebble interior decor is shown. Now, other decor options may be available. Simply ask about that when you swing out or drop us an email or call us or what have you. Okay, let's start with Party Central out here. We'll pretend that we've already got your, your goods deployed out here, whether that's your cycles or your side-by-side -side or what have you. There's the staircase i'm going to shut the gate right like that all right here we go on party central here's your folding chairs right on there and the three seasons porch doors swung wide open you can even you can remove them too if need be or just configure it however you see fit i'm going to show you how let's just shut the doors the optional three seasons porch door is a really cool option there we go, I've got it all closed. I had to do that with one hand, by the way. Obviously, I'm holding the camera. I'm gonna leave it swung open like that, or take it to the next step, why not? We'll close it up here. There we go. Now it's a full screened enclosure. And if it gets any colder or too warm, whatever the case may be, whatever season you're in, you can close the windows on those too and then create climate control in your garage. How cool is that? That is super duper convenient and really neat that you still can have the light coming in here with your climate control. That's the three season porch doors, the generation two doors that are on the unit. Okay, we're panning around, looking around. There is the option, again, if you order one in, the option of having the uh, half bath installed right in that general vicinity there. In the meantime, though, you can see this is where you've got your prep area for the easy addition of a washer and dryer. All the prep is done for you right there. There's the dryer vent, or where the dryer vent would go if you had it on in there. Again, you're prepped for the easy addition of a garage view camera. If you wanted to add that rear doorway camera, that's where that would go. Controls right through here. And let's take a peek up here. There's your flat screen garage TV and speakers in the ceiling. And what's that? What do you think it is? There's your AC unit back here. So you've got your garage AC. You can add them up as we go along. This is the happy junk, uh, the happy jack, oh boy, the happy jack bunk system. And it has the sofa that slides down underneath the top bunk up above. 
when you've deployed and using both of them for sleeping, you can easily add four to six extra sleeping people. Uh, add your sleeping capacity in here by adding four to six people. Wow, way awesome. Again, you can get these in here with an 18 foot garage. This is, you know what, I think I said it's a 13 foot. Yes, this one is a 13 foot, but as I say, there's a floor plan very similar to this one, whereby you can get this with an 18 foot garage. There are your tied down options with the D assist rings and your table would go in right there. When we run those, uh, the happy jack down, you can bring down your sofas and away you go. All right, let's step into the main living quarters over here. Again, a reminder, this is the Pebble interior decor. Other interior decors may be available. Just simply ask about those when you give us a call, email us, or drop in, what have you. Okay, let's take a quick peek at it from this angle. Here is, starting at the top, your main AC unit, that's a 15,000 BTU fully ducted Coleman Mach unit, and it does include the optional heat pump on there as well. So there's another option for warming up your quarters in here with that heat pump. Okay, this is glorious. Wow, check this out. Super duper tall fascia on the slide out. You're not gonna hit your head on that. Not unless you're, well, you know, like basketball player sized, you're 10 or 11 feet tall, and then you might have trouble with that or what have you. Anyway, the bunk up above. All right, here is the extra bunk right up here. There, you're gonna fit at least one more person, maybe two kids, if you will, right up above. Over to here to the sink. Here's your high-rise faucet there with the detachable spray attachment faucet, solid surface countertops throughout. Here is your chef-designed and chef-inspired stove oven combination, range top plus the oven down below, oven light also, because I know some units don't give you the oven light, believe it or not kind of weird uh, but four burners here and there you go residential sized microwave oven that's going to be with the uh, brushed metal exterior speaking of brushed metal over here we go nor cold for the refrigerator on here that's going to be an 18 cubic foot refrigerator let's throw it open a little bit give you a better view as to what's going on inside your nor cold 18 foot cubic foot refrigerator and that is LP or electric, uh, depending on how you wish to configure that to be used. They may be changing that with subsequent 2023 units. Again, should probably inquire regarding that. But way cool. Wow, super refrigerator capability right through there. Pantry time. Let's take a look in the pantry here. I'm going to step back and give you a view of the pantry. Lots of shelving, plenty of storage. You're not gonna run out of storage capabilities here, as well as over to here. Now, flat screen. We're looking in the ballpark of a 46 or 48 inch flat screen HD TV through there for your entertainment. Underneath which you have your fireplace that's as beautiful as it is functional because it does supply up to 5,000 BTUs of additional heating capacity on your fireplace. All right, we talked about the central vac briefly. There's the kick pan for your central vac. Right down underneath there, you sweep right towards it, open it up, all gone, no problem. How convenient is that? Way cool. Uh, now, we've got the Max Air Hole Coach vent fans, and they're all over the joint in here too, by the way. Here's the first one I'm gonna draw your attention to, and it's right up there in the ceiling. And that is with the rain sensor function, so it will shut it off for you in the event of rain if it senses rain don't worry you'll it'll take care of it for you okay here we've got some fuse panels and auxiliary items underneath there now here is the touchpad control and that's going to have all kinds of stuff on there from everything from deploying any of your three awnings to deploying the slide outs to electrical functions lights and if you do hook up a gen set, well, you got that hooked right into there too. Way cool, very neat. Okay, everyone's favorite room. Yeah, the Biffy, there you go. And speaking of Biffy, there's the John, or I mean the can. No, I'm, I mean the head, I mean, yeah. Anyway, it's China porcelain stool on that, and that's a foot flush marine grade stool. Over to here with the full shower surround, goes all the way up and skylight overhead extra 
extra ceiling height that way too. Way cool. Here is the shower apparatus. You've got a spray attachment wand over towards the right there. That's a really cool shower head plus the side and you have individual controls for that. Now over to here we've got the teak wood. The teak wood, um, there it is. Couldn't get the camera to adjust for me there. There's your teak wood shower um, seat. Let's step into the bedroom. Take a look through this way. Wah. Queen size bed. This is going to be an RV queen sized bed. We've got it all dolled up and nice for you here. Now here's where it really counts to have that bedroom slide up. Look at this extra storage in here. Glorious. All kinds of extra storage for your clothes and whatnot or unruly kids or no, don't do that. All right, anyway, up to the ceiling, the third of your AC units, 13,500 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioning unit, and it's ducted both here and into the restroom there, and you are prepped for the easy addition of a bedroom TV. There are your controls, and that's where it would go. Slide out controls over there. Let's step over this way and take a look at this bedroom from over here. Now, again, another option that may be possible on this unit, if you order one in, a king bed or a queen bed. As I said before, this one is the queen bed. Has nice accent lighting. Again, I don't have that turned on, but use your imagination. It is really neat. You got two switches on the wall right there, plus your USB controls, and there's additional lighting switches underneath there, as you can tell on the frame. And I'm gonna take one quick look back over this way. Okay, and again, this is the pebble interior decor show. All right. That pretty well finishes things up in here. Uh, I guess I can tell you this is a 38 foot, 11 inch long unit. Your overall exterior length, again, 38 foot, 11 inches. Height is 13 foot, 5 inches. That does include the air conditioning unit on the top. And your, oh, your tank capacities. Oh yeah, we're talking about the sink and the toilet and everything else. Uh, you've got a um, fresh water capacity of 155 gallons, your gray capacity of 104 gallons, and black capacity is 52 gallons. All right, I think that completes everything inside Grand Designs Momentum model number 349. This 2023 unit has been presented to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. want to thank you for your time to watch this video and wishing you happy trails. We'll catch you around.